Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on how to make Terraria in Minecraft. Uh, as you can see right here, and in this system, I use something called Linear Interpolation. Linear Interpolation is just basically, or in my system, I just choose a random point, a random height, and a random x value away. And basically, it just calculates the average to reach that point from where you are right now. And then we'll kind of continue on like that, make kind of hills and stuff. And basically it's the terrain from Terraria. So my system doesn't really use anything per lane or anything like that. It only uses interpolation. And as well as the cave uh, generation video will come out soon as well. It's probably going to be the next one after this one. But yeah, let's just showcase this interpolation real quick. Um, so this is completely random. It's not seed based or anything. But if we just start by summoning... I got some armor stand slash summon armor stand 1d it will just start like this and it'll just randomly continue on forever until you stop it with like slash kill or if you add any other scoreboards or anyhow of course you can adjust the numbers right now it's going very high upwards of course you can adjust the numbers to make it you know different but as you can see it's pretty cool let me just kill this real quick kill at e and as you can see right here, it just makes this cool little wavy terrain. There's some kind of triangly terrain here and there as well, and like some flatness. And it's, it's pretty cool, I guess, as you can see right here. And yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial for this. So as you can see here, I kind of marked all the command blocks with glass, just so you kind of know what it is. So this right here is just kind of like the continue feature, where it just continues and calculates forever as well as kind of setting up the starting of the system. This right here is the main calculation. The red is the main calculation of the system. Um, whilst these two are just like TP and counting X. And then these are just the fill values or like just the filling. And these are what actually TPs the armor stand as well as that one is just negative, positive and negative. And yeah, let's get straight to the uh, tutorial as for um, scoreboards are going to appear right here on the screen and let's get straight into the tutorial I'm not going to add this one right here because that's only for the action bar which is not really needed so I'm just going to show this one right here or show the actual commands you know um, so this just copy this and don't mind that sign there copy this you can just uh, this one you can adjust the numbers there uh, this one, this one you can also adjust the numbers. And here, just copy this, and this is basically for the starting and continue function. Now for the actual math. And as for this world X thing, um, you have to put in chat. I just did it like this. This is going to times it by 10 because I want some decimals. Or no, this actually times it by 100. So basically what you do is slash scoreboard, player set world, and then x10. I named it x10 because I was originally thinking of just doing it times uh, times 10. But I rather, I wanted two decimals instead of one. So I did 100. So I just put this in the chat and it should be fine. And that was the same one. And then this one's empty because I kind of removed this. So this one you don't need to add. And this one right here. This one. This one. This one. And this is for the counting of where it is right now. And this one just TPs it, you know, sideways. Here is for the fill. Another fill. Another fill. And another one. And remember, all the arrows should be facing the same way. And as well as that, we need this on the side right here, just behind here. This is just for the starting and just this isn't really too important or it's important because you don't have to manually put in the scoreboards to make it start. But this just basically starts it quite simply. So you don't have to do anything. That's why at the start here, you can kind of see it's the exact same. Um, so, yeah. Now for this part, which is the actual TP. This is this uses binary as usual. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be very uh, repetitive, and the reason why this is only ten point twenty four instead of one thousand and twenty four upwards, 
is because we times the previous number by 100 if you remember correctly and uh, that means here we have to divide it by 100 so we actually get the decimals we need and yeah then it removes the 1024 i'm just going to go through these really quickly so you guys can stop and pause the video to copy this as you can see and this i hope i actually uh don't miss any of these i think i should i think i'm, I think I'm good so far boom boom but you kind of understand the pattern because it's just yeah if you watch my binary video which is going to be linked in the description i do go through a little bit more of like a better explanation as to how it works so check that one out as well if you are interested and also join my discord as usual i probably should that should have said that in the beginning of the video um but yeah please join my discord and there you can ask for help you can you can you know showcase your own stuff and you also get like leaks or not leaks but like sneak peeks of what i'm doing right now and my current projects and as well as you get notifications when i'm streaming and uploading videos oh, bro there's so many okay I'm gonna go through these a little bit more quick now. There we go. And then the final command block right here, this just TPs the armor stand to itself, so it doesn't bug downwards or upwards. You don't really need it, but I just, I, I recommend adding it just in case. And that's basically the whole video. Let's just showcase another example before I end the video off. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please join my Discord. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.